Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. We are in Las Vegas today. It's day three of uh, Interop and we're really thrilled to have you. I should mention it's Interop 2010. On our program is Dan Aronson who is with Sagemcom. Dan, hello, how are you? Fine, thanks for having us. Uh, so I know your company, I've known your company as a, as a leader in the fact space and you recently had a slight rebranding of your company name, right? Yes, we did. Uh, there's really a convergence of brands worldwide uh, to Sagemcom. From, you want to just give us the old yeah. name? We were Sejam Communications, and actually prior to that, we were Interstar Technologies since uh, our inception in 1996. And people know you, many people know you as your product name, right? Absolutely. I think a lot of people are very uh, aware of Xmedia's Facts, which is our main product. And you want to talk about that a little bit and just uh, give us an overview of what's, what's new with, with that fax solution? Sure. Xmedia's Fax is, uh, is a fax over IP product. We started in the fax server business uh, again in 1996, and we were... Uh, primarily just doing what everybody else was doing, which was taking an, uh, a server, putting in a fax board, and then driving it with some fax management software. But we saw that voice over IP was really coming. And so in 2002, we introduced Xmedia's fax, which was a pure fax over IP play using T38 technology. And that's really our strength. So really what we have the ability to do is point through an IP connection to any call agent that's T38 compatible. And then once we do that, we can now light up every channel of every PRI uh, coming into any gateway on the network to be able to send and receive faxes just like they do phone calls. That's great. So uh, in terms of some of the, the new features, uh, here at Interop, actually, I think just in the information technology space for a number of years, the virtualization market has, has really taken off. Are you guys doing anything in that space? Absolutely. Virtualization is a key play for us. Uh, by eliminating the uh, need to have a fax board in our solution we're, and being software only, we have the ability to play in any kind of a, a, a virtualized space, VMware, Hyper-V, Citrix, um, and be able to drive those, those applications on those platforms without having dedicated hardware. And that's obviously a key play for most organizations these days. Yeah, telecom too. I'm noticing that uh, the, the telecom companies as well are really pushing virtualization. And from what I hear, uh, yesterday we had um, a high-level person from Avaya, one of the presidents of the divisions, talking about uh, how they're seeing a 40% growth rate in their virtualization products year over year. So that's in, that's in communication, so you would imagine that fax is, is um, also going to benefit from that trend. Oh, absolutely. As the call agents move from the traditional hardware-based appliance uh, uh, formula into a virtualized platform, it only makes sense that uh, fax being a natural add-on to voice uh, that we come right along. It's a great pull for us. And that takes us to the subject of uh, one of actually TMC's magazines, Unified Communications. And uh, sometimes companies look to Unified Communications and they almost forget that fax is a crucial part of their communications that needs to be unified as well, right? Absolutely. Uh, for the longest time, Unified Communications really was defined as voice, video, and data converged on the same backbone. And people would get three quarters of the way through an implementation uh, and, they, and staging and they, somebody in a meeting would say, what are we doing with fax? And so the answers come back, well, the easy way is to just maybe keep some POTS lines around, plug them into fax machines. Not a good solution at all when you think about the ability uh, to converge that on the same exact backbone and what that means as far as cutting costs, getting rid of legacy equipment, getting rid of legacy telephony uh, uh, carriers, uh, things like POTS lines. Uh, it's big ROI. Now, uh, this is kind of a, a weird question to ask you, but I noticed that you're located in the mobility pavilion here, right? At, at Interop? And was there just no other room anywhere else? Or is there, is there a reason for, for your company to be there? No, uh, really the reason why we're in the mobility section is because a lot of our customers have actually gone to uh, sending and receiving faxes off of their cell phones. Um, and with the iPhone uh, applications and now the Droid applications and the ability to actually just hit a browser on your phone, you can now send and receive faxes via your PDAs and your cell phone just as easily as you can off your PCs. And uh, so it's just an application then that, that you would use on a smartphone? It can be an application, but mostly it's just uh, a browser. Using our web services client, we can actually send and receive faxes off of any web-enabled device, which of course means cell phones. Uh, I'll give you an example. We have a, a company down in Miami that's a very large um, private capital firm, and they're constantly negotiating contracts, but they're, all, they're never in their offices. So the, their ability to receive those uh, contracts uh, that they're negotiating on their cell phones and respond to them instantly, is, it's crucial for them. 
That's fantastic. So what's next for the company? We've got about 30 seconds, just so you know. Well, what's next for the company? We've just actually introduced um, an appliance base for some of our uh, lower technology channels. Um, but also we've introduced uh, our second set of uh, applications that are certified on the Cisco AXP platform. So we can now uh, have a, basically a network module that goes inside of a Cisco ISR running our fax server application on it. So it gives us the ability to provide a unified communications in a box solution uh, for a small to mid-sized company, as well as to uh, employ branch survivability options for very large companies like branch banks and retails, uh, retailers, such that if they were to lose connection from their data center uh, back, to their, uh, uh, back to their branches, then they have the ability to continue to send and receive faxes automatically. Uh, without uh, without having a disruption in service. And that some people refer to that whole concept as branch office 2.0, I've heard. Absolutely. That seems to be a, a hot buzzword for... Yep. Cisco calls it borderless networks now. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being on the program today. It was good to see you. Thank you.